So I just want to ask Mariette to come forward. Let's give her a hand. So uh, we love to share stories because God is changing lives. And when we share stories, it stirs our faith and reveals to each one of us that God is, God is working in lives. So Mariette, you've, you, have, you have two beautiful daughters, Emily and uh, was almost five, and Amelia was, oh, what, two years, almost two, two years old. And um, yeah, so around two years ago, you went to a really, really difficult time when Amelia was born. So maybe give us a, a bit of an idea of, of what, what you went through. Okay, yes. So with the birth of Amelia, um, my husband decided he wanted out, so he left. Um, so yes, that had me facing a divorce with a newborn and a two-year-old. Sure. Um, yeah, basically that just, it was very, very tough, very difficult. And then um, with what, seeing what that was doing to Emily, um, it was just, it was opening up a lot of unhealed trauma of my own and mm -hmm. wounds that I had not dealt with yet. So it was a lot at once to dive into and mm -hmm. um, get working on. <laughs> yeah, I can only imagine how painful it must have been. Okay, well, so now moving forward a bit, end of last year, you came to Encounter One, but before that you came to, you spoke to Sonica at some point, and uh, just give us an idea, what were you going through okay. at that time? Yeah, so last year I was, I was still very much battling to get breakthrough on quite a few areas. Um, I had now brought all these things to highlight, and from the beginning I was seeking the Lord, so I was coming to church, I was getting into the Bible, praying, I just couldn't get breakthrough. It these things just kept having a hold on me. Um, so to a very scary point where it was obviously open doors for the enemy. So I had like two weeks experience of something very demonic that entered my house and literally terrorized me every single night to a point where I was, I was so fear ridden and I had so much anxiety. I literally thought I was losing my mind. So that's when one Sunday after church, I reached out to Sonica and I said, help. I don't know what to do. You need to help me. So she prayed with me and she said to me, just get signed up. Sign up for Life Encounter. Go through with the baptism. And that's what I did. Okay. And so you, I mean, you signed then up for Life Encounter. Yes. And yeah, what did you experience there and with the baptism, water baptism? So, just share, share with yeah, us. Yeah, Life Encounter was everything I needed. It's... It, there was so much going on, and it brought me back to basics. So it, the whole evening was just this constant reminder of what it is really all about. So mm. it really helped. I left that evening. It was very powerful. I left it already feeling a shift. And then the baptism will forever remain the most beautiful day of my life. Um, the Lord came in <laughs> all his love, and he set me free completely. It has been a complete renewal. It's, it's all gone. It's, it's indescribable how much, how much peace there is now. <laughs> Amen. Amen. Come on, give Jesus praise for that. So, so Mariette attended the, the Life Encounter, which is the Wednesday evening, and then she came to the water baptism on the Sunday morning where she was baptized in water, mm -hmm. and she says, I mean, on a Wednesday night already, the Lord shifted a lot of things, but then when she obeyed God to be baptized, and when she went through the waters, like those those two years of pain and things you've been going through, it just fell it's, off your shoulders. It's, it's gone. Feels like it yeah. never happened almost. It's, I don't recognize that person. Oh, it's that's gone. That's beautiful. <laughs> that is wonderful. That is the power of God, eh? That is the power of God. Come on, give Jesus praise. Awesome. Thank you.